Bellacor, the first demon prince and the dark master. This character transcends all of Game Workshop's franchises, including Warhammer 40,000, Warhammer Fantasy Battles, as well as Total War Warhammer 3, where he plays the part of the main antagonist of the story. However, this video focuses on his presence within Age of Sigmar. Now, we can't dive in too deep on what his origin is from Warhammer Fantasy Battles and how that translates over to Age of Sigmar. However, some tidbits are known to the players. Belakor is one of the first demon princes blessed by all four chaos gods. His power was so immense that it grew his pride. A pride which took the ire of Zinch, who cursed him to have to choose the next ever chosen, as well as the other chaos gods creating more demon princes, waning away the power of Belakor the Dark Master. Fast forwarding to Age of Sigmar, no one really understands where Belakor's origin starts in the mortal realms. There is evidence in Olgu, the realm of shadow, of artifacts that claim that Olgu was once ruled by Belakor before the rise of Malarian. Though how true that is, no one knows, because Belakor is the master of scheming, leader of one of the two major factions of the Slaves to Darkness, the Legion of the First Prince. Belakor's main mission is shrouded in mystery, his motives only known to himself. Though one of his driving factors of his animosity are toward Archeon, the Ever Chosen. You see, Belakor was the first ever chosen, and to know that someone else has claimed that mantle bothers him, because he is filled with pride. He is the greatest dark prince, and he knows that he could have destroyed the mortal realms. He knows that he can destroy the world that was, but instead the chaos gods played the games that they played. And so Belakor wants to show off that Archeon is not the greatest ever chosen, that he is not the greatest champion of chaos, but that Belakor is. And Belakor owns allegiance to none of the chaos gods aside from himself. While Belakor's history within Age of Sigmar is relatively new with the Broken Realms book coming out last year, Belakor is one of the people that created one of the first magical catastrophes that truly affected Sigmar's crusade across the mortal realms to bring hope back to the people. And that is his implementation of the Cursed Skies. The Cursed Skies is a moving curse that goes over the different lands of the mortal realms. It has been cited mostly in Shaman, where he first implemented the Cursed Skies, but it also has been known to hover over Excelsis as well. The purpose of the Cursed Skies is to not allow Stormcasts to return to the realm of Azir for reforging upon their death. Instead, they are lost in this cataclysmic storm that doesn't allow their souls any peace or respite, which is one of the reasons why Grungni and Sigmar had to work together to create the Thunderstrike Arm. For fans of Bellacore and the Sleeves to Darkness, look out for the new Battle Tome coming out shortly in the month of November by Games Workshop. Let me know which general or leader or hero you wish for me to talk about from Age of Sigmar, and I'll give you all the information I know.